The girls talked to me about the boys last night. I really like to ask them what about what I heard. Let's see if I can get anything out of them. I know everything. Everything about what? The pallet the <laughs> the party at Melody's. Emma came to me this morning and told me all about it. Everyone was invited except me. That's not true. Amber wasn't invited either. I won't forget this. Don't come running to me for help anymore. I won't say. I, I don't say I didn't warn you. I'm sorry, but Melody asked us not to tell you. I know that I, everyone was hiding from me. You all regret it. Believe me. Are you looking for Melody again today? Haha, <laughs> very funny. You're such a comedian. I'm funnier than you. It's easy to good mood today. I wonder why. Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. By the way, last night I heard there was a story between you and Amber. A story? What? Has someone started some stupid rumor? I just heard that you were both little. You did something for Amber, and that's why she fell in love with you. Ah, that? Haha. <laughs> what a joke. Girls really fall in love over nothing. What happened then? I felt sorry for her. That's all. She. It, even when she was little, she already bothered big people and her big brother. wasn't like she, wasn't like he's today. Nathaniel, that's surprising. He wasn't so perfect as a little kid. Anyway, that's what that doesn't answer my question. What happened? She was crying and she was crying for something that her brother did to her. And you consoled her. Can you see me consoling a little girl? You were little kids too then. Anyways, why are you poking your nose into it? That was a long time. I didn't. I don't even remember. That doesn't concern me. Oh my gosh, my thing is itchy. Oh. This is Daniel. Nathaniel. Okay, so I'm just going to stop here because I couldn't find the stupid Nathaniel. And yeah, I'll see you. Bye-bye.